Hello, here's a quick news summary of the most important online dating industry news from this week. This week's news highlights are kindly sponsored by Lightbox by The Meat Group. This week, Match Group announced financial results for the last quarter of 2022. Total revenue declined 2% year-over-year to $786 million. There's a good reason for this apparently. The foreign exchange rates are to blame, according to Match Group. If the foreign exchange rates had been neutral then Match Group revenue would have been $846 million, which would put them on a positive growth curve. Total revenue would have been up 5% year-over-year. Instead, they are negative 2% due to the dumpy exchange rates. Operating income was $107 million, which was a lot lower than last year. Operating income was a full 54% lower year over year. Not good. Let's consider the number of paying users. The number of paying users across all match group brands declined 1% to 16 million paying users. Tinder direct revenue was flat over the prior year quarter with 3% more paying members. Tinder now has almost 11 million paying members. Hinge is the new darling of Match Group and Hinge revenue grew substantially. Hinge revenue grew 30% year over year. In February, Hinge will launch a new premium subscription program, called Hinge X, which is for highly motivated users. Hinge X will cost about $60 a month. We think the success of this value point could be hugely inspirational to the dating industry. The Corland Brooks Agency Consultancy thinks that the dating industry is leaving a lot of value and revenue on the table. So it will be interesting to see how Hinge does with this price point. Many tech companies have laid off workers and Match Group is no exception. Match Group has also announced plans to lay off around 200 of its employees. Other tech companies from Microsoft to Amazon have shed tens of thousands of jobs to brace for a possible recession. When big digital leaders do layoffs in unison, it is time to take notice of the writing on the wall. It is time to take an inventory of your costs, key people, and growth metrics and consider derisking. On a more positive note, a new online dating report from Pew Research Center is out. According to the findings, 3 in 10 US adults say they have used a dating app. 1 in 10 partnered adults, meaning those who are married, living with a partner or in a committed romantic relationship, met their current significant other through a dating app. About 42% of US adults say online dating has made the search for a long-term partner easier. But online dating users are somewhat divided over whether their experiences on these platforms have been positive or negative. They are not sure whether online dating is a safe way to meet people, and a majority of users support requiring background checks before someone can create a profile. On that point, Utah House Bill 18 progressed to the Senate this week. Under the bill, dating apps must disclose if they've done background checks on users. They also need to notify all users if an account is suspected of catfishing. Luxie has been in the news and is now being sued. This week, Luxie, which is a dating site for millionaires, has been sued over privacy concerns. Specifically, they allegedly used biometric data inappropriately. Luxie allegedly collected and used the facial scans of its users without their consent, which is in violation of the Illinois Biometric Information Privacy Act. Luxie requires prospective members to submit their facial scans for identity verification. According to the complaint, We'll look for further updates and make sure to run them on opw.news for you. We have the next LTR online conference dates for you. Please mark your calendars for Wednesday, March 1st, and also for Wednesday, April 5th. We'll run the speaker announcements on opw.news soon. Watch this space. These events are now very well attended by leaders in the dating industry. If you would like to join us, you can apply for IDEA. Just contact Mark Brooks and we'll look after you. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to opw.news for the daily news updates. The Cortland Brooks team have been faithfully summarizing the daily news for the online dating industry for 18 years at opw.news. We also run online and offline events for the dating industry to help you learn, share and connect with your peers and leaders in the dating industry. Cortland Brooks is a team of 30 dating industry professionals. For the price of a marketing manager you can get access to our seasoned team of dating industry professionals to help you with your strategy, business development, and marketing efforts. Thanks, and see you again next week.